Hello, this is the image tile links template at SharePoint dashboards.com. As you can see in the preview, this allows you to have large tile style links appropriate for a landing page on the home page of your SharePoint intranet or on the home page of any of your SharePoint sites. You can adjust the colors and sizing and everything about the look and feel of this however you like. When you first get to this template, you should check out the different theme options. And this will give you some ideas on how you might configure your template. As you can see, there's a lot of options in how you might make this look. In order to use this template, you do need to set up your SharePoint list to include the listed fields and in the instructions. There are a handful of fields. You need to, of course, have the default title field for the link label. You'll use a text field named link, which will hold the URL. You'll use a text field named description for the long description under the main link label. And then you'll need to reference an image, which is going to be used for the background. Last, you'll want to have an index so you can control the order that your links display. There's more detailed instructions included in the bottom, which you can follow, but generally that's what you need to know. So in SharePoint, I've already got my list set up and you can see these are the only columns that I need. There's the title field, a column to store the link, and then I can reference my image. So that can be done in a couple of different ways. And you can do that either as a hyperlink to an image or you can do it um, actually using the image column that SharePoint provides. Either one will work just fine. So I've already got my list set up and ready to go. So I'm going to go ahead and apply my template. I'm going to change the width on this a little bit to make it more narrow and I can just go ahead and click copy template and follow the instructions and then come over to the view selector and select format current view, advanced mode, select all paste and save. Okay, there are my tile links so I can preview that. And then usually what you're gonna do probably is wanna maybe make some tweaks to this. Maybe I wanna make the look of this slightly different after I see it the first time. And of course that's very easy to do. I can just go back to format current view and as an example, maybe I want to make these a little bit wider. So I just change the width and maybe I want my link color to be darker. Um, you know, if I want to go for more of a navy blue, I could adjust the font size. All of these things are configurable according to how you want to do it. Another thing is the label section. You may not need as much room there, so I can adjust that as well. And that's controlled by the label height. So I could make that a little bit smaller if I wanted to. And then once I'm ready, I can just click copy template again and I can just paste over that code and save. So it's very easy to make adjustments. I've got this set to show three tiles per row. Now, of course, you wanna display this on a landing page. So the way that you'll do that is you just come to the home page in one of your SharePoint sites and you're gonna use the modern list web part. You can see I've already got a different style of navigation where I did that same thing. You just drop into the page, hit edit, and then you're gonna use that list web part. You're just gonna select your list and view, and then you can publish that right onto your landing page. And that's how your users are gonna experience the navigation that you're setting up. So uh, very easy to do that. There are a lot of navigation options available at the SharePoint dashboard site. You can check those out in the gallery. There are 12 navigation options. And so depending on what kind of navigation you're doing, you can go ahead and pick one appropriate uh, for what you want to do. This template is part of the subscription package available at SharePoint dashboards. If you have not yet used this tool, you can get access to 21 free templates. So you can try this out and see how it works. And then if you like it, you can go on to subscribe and get access to all of the templates 
of which there are hundreds to choose from. I hope you found that useful and good luck.